Helldivers 2 came out exactly two weeks ago. The first game was well loved by its fans, but it didn't receive much attention beyond a core group of gamers. The second one, though, has skyrocketed in popularity and continues to grow bigger and bigger as more people realize the sheer fun involved in spreading managed democracy across the galaxy. Within an incredibly short space of time, the game has a dedicated community, and I love to see it. It's burst into life, and today there are thousands of Helldivers sharing clips, requesting aid, and generally having a phenomenal time together. In this video, we're going to look at everything that's helped to create the beautiful community which is racing to fight the universe's greatest war. There is so much to talk about, whether it's the deeply satisfying gameplay, the refreshing take on live service and microtransactions, the immersive way in which the galactic war works. At the center of it all though, everything comes together to make for a community that is really something special. Of course, we are going to discuss the amazing development behind the game, as well as the CEO of Arrowhead, whose Twitter account alone has brought the fellow Helldivers together in a united quest to protect Super Earth's way of life. This is why the Helldivers community has become so good already. In 2024, I'm making a big push in variety, and that means other games than just Destiny, which a lot of you guys follow me for. So if you like this kind of content, make sure you subscribe, because there will be plenty of Helldivers on this channel. Also, in my Discord, I do have a massive channel for Helldivers, so if you guys are ever looking for a group, you can always join that. There's a link in the description. And if you're watching this, I'm probably live right now playing Helldivers on Twitch. So come by and fight for democracy. First and foremost, I gotta say, Helldivers 2 is simply a really fun game to play. It's got an engaging, addictive gameplay loop, and even though its missions have you doing essentially similar objectives, each one feels unique enough to be entertaining each time. What's more is that the gunplay is really satisfying. Each weapon you acquire feels incredible as you shoot it, and each of them has their own variable of mastering the weapon. The same goes for the stratagems that you call down to either aid you and your team or annihilate your enemies. Now, realistically, some of the weapons are okay, and then there's the shotgun. Some of the stratagems are okay, and then there's the ones where you kill your teammates with the mortars. Having to use the D-pad on PlayStation or the WASD keys on PC is really interesting and an effective choice by the developers. It's weirdly immersive and relatively easy to call down stratagems when nothing's happening. But when you're getting overwhelmed by hordes of bugs or bots, calling in the stratagems turns into a nerve-wracking task, which seems to make it all the more satisfying when you master it. Unfortunately for my Xbox fans out there, uh, this game, uh, it, it hasn't found its way to you yet, but it will. As the name suggests, using your stratagems effectively means that Helldivers 2 walks the line between intense tactical combat and FPS spray and pray fun. Of course, at the higher difficulties, there is currently a meta that is all but necessary for any respective diver. But the beauty of live service is that this is sure to change over time. Speaking of live service, Arrowhead has taken the live service format that we all know and uh, mostly dislike, and they put it into a new direction. I'll discuss it more later in the video, but the way in which Helldivers 2 breaks the mold is undoubtedly attractive for many. In addition to this, the way in which the game handles microtransactions is simply phenomenal. The premium currency can be earned in-game, and it's easy to collect enough to unlock the premium version of the Battle Pass. Compared to other games, this is a breath of fresh air. It keeps getting better as well, because Arrowhead have confirmed that PvP will never come to Helldivers 2, which makes complete sense given the format of the game. I get it, PvP is fun, but you cannot deny that adding PvP to most games, especially when they're dedicated for PvE, creates a balancing nightmare. And this exact reason has plagued games like Destiny 2 for years and years. Although some of these games' big sell is PvP, if the game was never made for PvP in mind, why force it? All of these decisions and features have ensured that at its heart, Helldivers 2 is just a really fun game to play. However, one, there are two other integral aspects of Helldivers experience which have allowed for its meteoric rise. The first is the unintentional comedy that arises from playing the game, and the second is the pure genius in which the Galactic War works. Within the Helldivers universe, the Galactic War is the most important undertaking humanity has ever experienced, 
and the Helldivers themselves are elite soldiers dedicated to spreading and maintaining managed democracy. It's clear that the writing is deliberately lampooning ultra-nationalistic dystopias. Just look at the tutorial. I won't let you down! There's a Helldiver. You remind me of a younger me. But nonetheless, the conflict that you engage in is presented as being incredibly serious. This means that when things go wrong, and uh, they will, the byproduct is hilarious comedy in almost every single mission. Because it's just funny to see your character ragdolling through the air because you got demolished by one of your teammates' orbital barrages. Or that goddamn mortar. On top of that, the voice acting in Helldivers 2 is perfect. Just listen to what happens when your character gets injured. My arm! There are so many games that try to be funny deliberately and end up being too over the top or cringeworthy. Helldivers 2 doesn't intentionally try to make you laugh, but you end up laughing all the same because of the contrast between its tone and the events that you go through. The slapstick humor makes the game incredibly immersive to the point where you'll have people acting out as soldiers, but it also has the effect of allowing players to bond over the stupid things that have happened to them in the game. I think it definitely helps that all the currency you pick up within the missions is shared, so accidentally or deliberately killing your friends and randoms doesn't really affect your chances of success that much, even though you will have to pick up their samples. I've had so many memorable moments with my teammates that stuck with me, not necessarily because they were badass or cool, but because, well, just have a look. What? What? Yeah, a little bit of what? A what? Evan Wall was sad. What the <laughs> f I died to it! There's dudes railing my <laughs> Of course, this is only the part of the reason that Helldivers 2 has become so popular. It's safe to say that another part is the incredibly clever mechanics of the Galactic War. For those of you who aren't aware, every single mission that Helldivers completes contributes to a larger goal. The defense or liberation of planets across the galaxy. This is a really smart way of using live service to make your game more popular. Being able to directly contribute towards an active warfront and seeing your contributions flash up on screen at the end of each mission makes players feel like they are part of something larger than themselves. It makes them feel united. It's unironically for the future. I'm doing my part. I'm doing my part. I'm doing my part. I'm doing my part too. When everyone contributes towards the success of the entire player base, everyone is part of the larger community. I think it helps people feel really included. No matter what difficulty you're doing, no matter how experienced you are, no matter how many accidentals you've got in a single mission, you are a part of the community. All of the things we have discussed have the potential to set up a massive, dedicated community but we also got to talk about the ways in which Arrowhead themselves have contributed towards the success. How many of you have heard of a diabolical TV show called The Boys? Even if you haven't, you might have seen the Vought social media accounts online. Essentially, Vought is the superhero company that represents the main antagonist in the universe of The Boys. In the real world, Amazon is being pretty good with social media. What's amazing is the fans of the show reply as if they're in the universe too. This ironic roleplay is perfect for the Helldivers 2 universe, and Arrowhead has completely embraced it. Look at the ways in which the Automaton Assault Campaign update was announced. Freedom's greetings. I'm your host, Coretta Kelly, with breaking news. The Automatons have just launched surprise invasions of multiple developed worlds. In response, the Helldivers have been partially redirected from Operation Valiant Enclosure to defend against the bot incursion. That's Liberty's latest. I'm Coretta Kelly. In the same vein as the boys, fans of Helldivers 2 engage in an ironic roleplay in the comments too. Of course, people really don't believe in the supremacy of managed democracy and the need to defend Super Earth, but it is kind of fun to pretend to. Nope, nope, this statement isn't treasonous. There's no need to report me to your nearest democracy officer. I promise. In all seriousness though, it's pretty genius marketing. And it's happening on the Helldivers subreddit too. It's perfect for everyone involved because it's good publicity for Arrowhead, but it also brings players together as it's basically just one big inside joke. This relates to the memes that have spawned since the Helldivers launch. 
I swear to God, if I see another meme about Malevolon Creek, I'm going to lose it. These are just great. Again, this makes for a much stronger community because fans of the games can relate to their fellow players and feel connected to the game itself. It also helps that Arrowhead retweets these memes, as well as fan art of the game. I really think the success of Helldivers 2 and the growth of the wonderful community has to be partly credited to the ways in which the devs have effectively used social media to generate hype and interest to the game. They've been doing the best possible job. We also need to discuss the role that the CEO of Arrowhead has played, and I hope I say his name correctly, Johan Pilested. I hope I said that right. He has played an incredible role in the popularity of the game and has caused even more growth within the Helldivers 2 community. Hillestead on Twitter has been incredibly open and candid about news related to Helldivers 2, as well as the challenge of dealing with a live service that is suddenly more popular than originally anticipated. For instance, in this tweet, he discussed the studio's approach on monetization in live service games. In this one, he explains that the game will not introduce PvP. It's important to note that this was the first announcement of this news, so it came directly from the CEO himself. This kind of communication from the very upper echelons of a studio is incredibly refreshing, but that's not the only reason why he has been winning fans over from almost day one of Helldivers 2 launch. He shared a really important piece of news about the hiring practices of Arrowhead, given the immense success of the game. In this tweet, he condemns the act of over-hiring then doing layoffs describing it as a horrible practice. Given the waves of layoffs in the gaming industry we have seen over the course of the past year, this was received as further evidence that the people behind Helldivers 2 not only care about their game and their community, but care about the developers who work tirelessly to ensure its success. After all, if the CEO himself believes in this kind of rhetoric, it's reasonable to assume that the executives of Arrowhead follow suit. Something that was almost unbelievable was when he told a fan of the game that despite being the CEO, he thinks that it wouldn't be a good idea to purchase the game until the server issues had been sorted out. This massively contrasts with a lot of other popular games, which almost treat their fans as a wallet. It makes me really happy to see a higher up being so transparent and honest with their customers. And undoubtedly, this kind of interaction only makes Arrowhead and Helldivers 2 more popular. On top of all of this, the CEO interacts with the community in numerous ways, sharing fan art on Twitter, asking for people's funniest clips from the game, even discussing the possibility of getting a Helldivers tattoo. Almost every single cool thing that the Helldivers community shares online is amplified and appreciated by the people who work behind the scenes on the game. The good vibes aren't limited to the CEO too. Apparently, the person who handles community support for Helldivers 2 got locked out of her account because she was sending too many DMs to accommodate players asking for help. Honestly, when developers help communities grow like this, there's no limit to how much the game can achieve. Arrowhead have made a great game, and they continue to act in ways which cement them as a genuinely good studio. Helldivers 2 is a really well-made game, entertaining with phenomenal social media strategy, an ever-expanding community full of passion for squashing Terminids and crushing automatons. The same community continues to grow more and more as the game begins to roll out new content and develop its genius live service aspect of the Galactic War. It's safe to say that Helldivers 2 will become more and more popular. So what does the future look like for this brilliant game? There are already large amounts of people who are suggesting that the game should be on Xbox, and as some Xbox games are being released on PlayStation, a multi-console Helldivers 2 could be possible. It's safe to say that there will be more and more content added as the game progresses. The original Helldivers features all sorts of enemy races, vehicles, and mechs, which I'm sure will show up at some point. And the devs have already teased the upcoming mech, which I think will cause even more mayhem than they can even conceive. With a loyal community, a caring and well-run development team, and at a base level, a really enjoyable gameplay experience, I think Helldivers 2 is going to keep smashing records for years to come. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it a lot. I'll see you guys next time. Oh my. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, to dive? Nice and fucking easy, Chad. Are you impressed or what? Aim for the bushes.
Where are you going then? Then? Oh! <laughs> what the? Oh! You're just... It's not shooting yet. Oh! I'm the only one alive. Jeez. Hey, okay. what button is that? Oh, F4. Man, who told me how to F4, bro? Dang, did you press Alt F4? No way you press that, bro. Well, what? What the fuck? Oh. No! You guys, I shot the hell bomb. Advise.